Jake, why is the president making these changes for a second time this week? Why now? Well, the White House officials say uh, that this housing program was never meant to be set in stone. It was announced in February 2009. And as David pointed out, even as the housing market shows signs of stabilization, a real problem continues to be the number of Americans who are underwater, who owe more on their homes than their homes are currently valued. And that's why they've fine-tuned it to make this announcement later today. But not all promising news for those looking for work right now. Another story developing overnight. Congress could be leaving for spring break without extending jobless benefits. The vote held up by a lone Republican. Tell us what happened here, Jake. Well, Republican Oklahoma Senator Tom Coburn objected to the fact that the unemployment benefits would be extended without paying for those benefits, with spending cuts elsewhere. Uh, so he's holding it up. Uh, Senate leaders say they're working on resolving this problem as soon as possible. And while we have you, let's switch gears to that other headline. The president, it looks like it's finally struck that deal, a new nuclear arms deal with Russia. He'll, he's going to announce it today, you think? That's what's expected later mm -hmm. today. Sources tell ABC News Russian President Dmitry Medvedev and President Obama will talk on the phone and assuming that everything goes according to plan, they will announce after that phone call a new nuclear arms disarmament treaty. This would reduce U.S. and Russia stockpiles and delivery systems by about a quarter. Uh, this would replace the START treaty that expired on December 5th and the announcement ceremony uh, is supposed to be uh, in early April in Prague, the Czech Republic, the same place President Obama made his big speech last year mm. about a nuclear-free world.